everybody, 4 Eyes here, and I am back once again with a team building video, this time for OU instead of UU, because I, I don't know, I'm so, strangely enough, even though I'm really liking UU, I'm sorry to miss OU, I have played around in a bit since I stopped recording videos for it, mainly with this Keldeo team right here, but I just really wanted to get back into OU, and I wanted to use a Mega Pokemon I haven't used in a while, which is actually Megalopony, because Megalopony's stats are just insane once it goes Mega, hold on. Like, just look at that. 136 attack, 135 speed. Nothing, that, not much can really outspeed it. It's just a really nice Pokemon overall. And Pokemon that actually um, teams up with it really well is Jirachi. Because Jirachi can provide a slow user out with Wish in order to heal it since Megalopity gets uh, worn out pretty easily. And it will also beat Bulky Psychics and uh, mainly Clefable, actually, is, the main, is a big problem with Megalopity. So Jirachi goes really well with it. And... Then, of course, what goes well with it is Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash fits really well with Megalopony because it can just, well, it mainly helps with Skarmory and other, um, let's see, well, it also can help with stuff like Tank Chomp and uh, Talonflame, Landorus T, stuff that can outspeed Lopony or just, uh, or just Wallet. And, and so Rotom Wash actually fits in really well with that since it can switch it on those and wall them back or just outright kill it in the case of Skarmory. So, not rough. rough. Why did Rufflet come in? <laughs> F yeah, RT. <laughs> Why did that come in? <laughs> close. Oh, closest matches alphabetically. Use Rufflet in OU, everybody. Somebody make it work. Rufflet new meta. Anyway, now the main problem though with this core is. We are basically beaten by Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur, defensive Mega Venusaur, Wall Opony, uh, Jirachi's not going to do anything with it unless I get like 10 Iron Head flinches, and the Rotom just dies to it. So I need something that can beat Mega Venusaur, and, hmm. Like, I've been, I've been kind of debating this because I have had this score of 3 planned out for a bit in my head, but I just haven't really made the team. I'm thinking um, either Latias or Latios will work really well. Probably Latios, since I'm going, since I already have something to heal and make a Lopini with in uh, Jirachi. Then again, it might just be nice to get a cleric overall. That could what's a cleric that can beat Mega Venusaur? I don't think there are many, many. <laughs> but um, what beats Mega Venusaur? I know. I already know. Psychic types will. Flying types. Oh, Talonflame actually could fit here. Talonflame could be nice. We'll think about it. Um, Longest Venusaur is wearing Earthquake, Heatran. Yeah, Leech. So, so flying types, obviously. Ooh, wait. Tornadus T. Tornadus. Tornadus can actually really work well. How much does um? Tornadus. Don't ask about this from earlier. Um, <laughs> I was playing UU. Anyway, um, Salt Vest against Venusaur. We'll say he's defensive. Wow, Hurricane 2 at KOs. Um, what about how much do I take from an offensive big Venusaur on the switch, though? Um, wow, that's a 3 at KO. But Hurricane's still obviously 2 at KOs, so we shouldn't be too bad with it. Um, do I want super power or knock off? Do I want super, not super power knock off? Do I want super power or heat wave? Um, what annoys us right here? Um, what else walls this core? I think I'm, hmm, heat wave might be nice. Then again, grass knot could be too for bulky water types. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put grass knot on it, because that'll help with, uh, it can 2 AK with stuff like Gastron. Um, how much does Suicune take from it? Whoops. Not VGC. So let's say we're Grass Knot. Grass Knot is a 3 at KO. Oh, that does nothing. <laughs> I might want something for Sweet Oh no, I guess between uh, Rotom and Tornado, I can probably take care of it. And also, I think Lopity takes a good chunk out of its health as long as we don't get burnt. Oh, actually, it doesn't. <laughs> wow, that. <laughs> wow. Oh wait, hold on. This isn't Mega. That 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 would explain a lot. Okay, yeah, we take a decent chunk out of it. Three KOs. Um, just have to be wary of Scald Burns. So yeah, I, okay, yeah, he yeah, Tornadus helps us with our Mega Venusaur problem. 
Uh, we're just going to do the general assault vest uh, set. I'm going to put grass on it for bulky water types, as I said. And that's the wrong tornadoes, but whatever. Okay, there we go. So, let's see, what else do we want? Um, hazards and hazard removal would be really nice for this team. Huh. Problem is, though, what hazard setter do we have room for? Because I need something else on this team, I'm thinking of it. Um, Weavile, I think, would actually pair up really well with Lopini. Because it can help with bulky psychic types. How much... Okay, what's the standard bulky psychic type in OU? Let's just say Mew. Yeah, Mew gives us trouble. And that and we thought can't even kill Mew. Huh. We want something that can wall and wear down Mew, I guess. And also um help with slow bro, stuff like that. Okay, what kills slow bro? Um not Bisharp certainly. Um because I know that slow can wall it. Hmm. Magazone would be nice for stuff like Skarmory, but we already have Rotom Wash. Um Okay, what can help us with bulky psychics? Other than Weavile. Um, Tyranitar could be nice. Scarf Tyranitar. Hmm, or Gengar. Actually, no, wait, because Gengar can't switch in, but then again, I have... I have three <laughs> pivoters on this team. I don't need to worry about switching in. Um, how much does Gengar do to stuff like Mew? Mew, we'll say, so you Stallbreaker, I think that's, yeah, Spidef set. Shadow Ball, two at KOs. Knock off also two at KOs us, but we have speed. Okay, so we'll be good there. Uh, what about Slowbro? Shadow Ball just straight up Okos. What about Mega Slowbro? Shadow Ball still kills. Okay, so yeah, Gengar would actually be nice. Um, let's cock stone with Modest or Timid. Timid. Okay, so I'm going to go standard Life Orb set. Um, levitate. We're going to have, of course, Shadow Ball and Sludge Wave. Since those both help. How much does Gengar do to stuff like uh, Venusaur anyway? Wow. <laughs> do I even need Tornadus then even with Gengar? Well, no, because Gengar switches in a bit easier, I think, to offensive Mega Venusaur. Hold on. Oh. Huh. Well, Ked, well I, know, I have seen Venusaur run knockoff before, but... Hmm. I think I might just want both Tornadus and Gengar on this team, actually. Because, you know, again, bulky psychics. Um, so yeah, slot Shovel, Sludge Wave. I could free up a slot on Tornadus and put uh, Energy Ball on this and put Heat Wave over here, but I don't know. I definitely want Focus Blast, that's for sure. Um, do we have problems with stuff like Lottie? Um, a little bit. So I could put Icy Wind on here. Icy Wind would actually be nice. A bit of speed control. Helps with uh, Scarfers for Megalopony too. So put Icy Wind on here. There we go. And just standard set. Okay. Next is the last one. Like I said, we want some sort of hazard removal. Hmm. I could put something like Starmie on here, but I don't know. Excadrill actually might be nice. Gives us... Do we have something for... Yeah, we don't really have anything for Rotom Wash. Hold on. Let's say Tornadus... Um, we are Grass Knot, just forget U-Turn, Rotom Wash. Yeah, Grass Knot does nothing to it, whereas, um, I already forgot what I was going to be using. Um, oh yeah, Exadrill, duh. <laughs> whereas Exadrill, I can't bring it in on it, but I can get it in. And we'll just say we're Choice Scarf. Earthquake. That's only a 2 at KO? What? Um, well, I guess, yeah, with the damage from from Earthquake, we'll be able to kill it easily anyway. From something like, you know, Gengar, obviously. Ta-da! Gengar 2 at KO is it anyway. It doesn't do... Well, that actually does a lot. What if we're Energy Ball Gengar? Ooh, baby. Rotom is bulky. <laughs> But, um, anyway, yeah, I think I'll just go with the, uh, Sarah Scarf Excadrill set. Just because that, one, it gives us another physical attack, because as you can see, the only one that's mainly an attacker so far on this team is Lopini, and two, helps us with our Rotom Wash weakness, and Rotom Wash is really 
really common, so we can't really have, uh, ignore that. We can also have the bulky set, I guess. But that doesn't... Hmm. Nah. Okay, yeah, so we'll just go with uh, Sarah Choice. Oh, or do I want Life Orb, actually? Hmm. Let me think about it. Let me import it and think about it here. Life Orb could be nice, because I really do not want to get locked into Rapid Spin to get something like Gengar. Um... Then again, once I get rid of uh, most ghost types, that's not a problem anyway. Let's go over to break my team. Because I think we're just about done here. And break my team, like I always say, not a good thing to use just as like what beats your team, but a, just a general good guide. This is the wrong tab. Where are we? Um, damage calculator. There we Wait, nope, that's not it. <laughs> wow, I'm blundering all over the place here. Here we are. Import. Okay, again, Victine. Ooh, Metacham. Um, we outspeed it with uh, Exodrill. Do we have Tornadus? I don't think outspeeds. Let me check. What's Metacham's base speed? 100. Um, what does it hit? Hold on. Metacham. We'll say max speed plus jolly. There we go. Against Tornadus. How much speed do we run on it? I always forget. See, this is why I copy sets. Oh, we're also max speed. So we'll just say j jolly because that's it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so we so Tornadus outspeeds Mega Metacham. Um, that's nice. That is nice. Okay. So yeah, I guess we don't really worry about it too much as long as we get Tornadus hit on it. Um, Gengar could also put in work against it, of course. Okay, so anything else that gives us trouble? Um, Staraptor, I'm not worried about since it has to use Final Gambit to do anything to Jirachi, right? Yeah. Well, close combat too at KOs, but we have wish for that. Um, Staraptor, again. Dragonite. Um, Dragonite. We could will wisp it. Uh, we could take one outrage and then will wisp it, so that'll be fine. And also, this is a Troy Band set, which needs Earthquake to hit um, Excadrill and Jirachi. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we should be good then. Why does this have? Oh wait, that's Haxorus. Okay. Um. Yeah, it seems like we're decently good. What wall is this like in general? Um. General bulky stuff. I'm not too worried about most of this. Dragonite will die afterwards. Cresselia, we can take care of with Gengar, of course. Um, of course, it'll kill Gengar with Psychic, but then we could just bring in something else and kill it afterwards. Um, Scizor, we can wear it down. Uh, Krokun, we already discussed how to take care of that. Chansey, I'm not worried about because Knockoff and also this. Zapdos, Zapdos. Uh... Yeah, it seems like we. It seems like this is a pretty generally balanced team. Um. Yeah. That's. That, I mean, it's that, I'm, I'm not too worried about Zapdos because, like, look at this. Everything just gets worn down. <laughs> because um, I don't think because yes, D Defog Scizor, I guess could be a bit of a problem. Or also the uh, bulky uh, bulky swords inset, I guess. But Rotom, of course, walls that and Kawil was fit, so we're fine there. Gengar, of course, can come in. I don't think it takes... Does it... How much does Gengar take? From, like, a... Let's say we'll plus two bullet punch. Mega Scizor, Bulky Sword Stance, plus two. Um, oh. Okay, bullet punch kills a plus two. What about if it's just normal? If it's just normal, bullet punch does not kill us. So we have to get in Gengar before it gets up to plus two, and also not on a knockoff. Which shouldn't be too hard, considering I have three pivoters. Goodbye, everybody. Well, no, wait, no, not goodbye. I have to name the team first. Um, Lock Drill? I guess we'll just call it Lock Drill. Because the Lock is the first one, get X Drill's last one. That's generally how I do my naming thing. We are good, validates, team is valid. Goodbye, everybody.